Hi, I'm Randy Jordan of Hope Worldwide. You're watching this presentation because church leaders thought it was important for you to be updated about our work for the poor around the world. And we're just delighted to have the chance to share with you some important developments. As many of you know, earlier this year at Hope Worldwide's Global Summit in Washington, D.C., our longtime leaders, Bob and Pat Gimple, decided to transition to a new role as super volunteers for Hope Worldwide. And they continue to serve as members of our board of directors. Although their role has changed, the Gimple spirit lives on in our work around the world. As Hope Worldwide's new CEO, I'm so thankful for the new leadership team that God has raised up to lead our work. In addition to my new role, Gary Jacques serves as our Global Program Director, and Antonio Boyd leads our work in the United States. David Blanco is our Vice President of Development, and David Cheney is Vice President of Operations and Strategic Partnerships. Frank Perez serves as our Chief Accounting Officer, and last, but certainly not least, Walter Kutkowski handles our procurement operations and sends more than $20 million worth of medicine and medical equipment and supplies around the world each year. But enough about our internal changes. I'm eager to share with you some of the life-changing work that we're doing all around the world. I think you'll soon see that our organization is also one that's on the edge, doing great things for God. On the continent of Asia, our team risked their lives every day in war-torn Afghanistan for the benefit of the poor. In the northern provinces, Hope Worldwide is developing vital irrigation, allowing Afghan farmers to grow legitimate crops rather than growing poppy plants feeding the illegal opium trade. In India, we're providing compassion and love in the most densely populated country in the world. Oprah wide programs serving children and orphans, training workers and comforting victims of HIV, AIDS and leprosy are in 22 cities across the whole of India. The Sinek Hospital Center of Hope in Phnom Penh, Cambodia is in its 12th year of operation and has now seen more than 1 million patients for free. As much needed health care services continue to expand throughout the provinces, Hope Worldwide is quite literally transforming the healthcare system of a nation. From our base in Hong Kong, our work in China continues to meet the needs of children and the elderly in a powerful way. In an innovation of serving the urban poor through movie therapy, we provide programs of emotional support throughout Singapore. In Central and South America, our effective programs for the poor continue in Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala, and Colombia. Growing programs are emerging in Brazil, Chile, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Ecuador, and Bolivia. North America is also a site of tremendous service. In addition to providing vital medical clinic services, the Jamaican Youth Corps and Volunteer Corps are always popular destinations due to the chance to combine sunshine, spirituality, and service. Our programs for youth in the United States are also being powerfully developed under new leadership. As an example, Mac and Zoe Strong have established a strong partnership with Native American Indian tribes of the Northwestern United States and are implementing a powerful curriculum known as TeamWorks that develops the mind, body, and spirit of young people. 
More than 40 churches in the United States have also adopted volunteer-based seasons of service as a way to serve their local communities. The continent of Australia has been a launching pad for great work for the poor in this region of the world. Papua New Guinea, one of the poorest nations on earth, benefits from the services of Hope Worldwide's mobile medical clinic, and a special reading program has sent more than one million books to poor children in PNG. The work for the poor in Europe continues to make great strides as Hope Worldwide UK operates programs for the homeless and recovering addict communities is a tremendous example of compassion on the streets of London. Petra Afsik is also coordinating our work for needy children in the Ukraine, Romania, and other Eastern European countries. Lastly, the continent of Africa is still staggering under the burden of the HIV AIDS epidemic. During dark times of death and illness, the programs of Hope Worldwide in Nigeria, Kenya, Cote d'Ivoire, Zambia, Botswana, and Mozambique stand out as beacons of light. Hope Worldwide in Nigeria is now responsible for millions of dollars of humanitarian relief for HIV AIDS victims. And we've partnered with Walmart in Kenya to provide vocational support services to adults and their families affected by HIV AIDS. Our presentation would not be complete without me saying something about the heroic efforts that have been made all around the world in the area of disaster relief. No other aspect of our work highlights the powerful partnership between Hope Worldwide and the International Churches of Christ quite like the compassionate response of our churches whenever disaster strikes. Whether it be the South Asian tsunami of three years ago, recent earthquakes in Pakistan and China, or the cycle of hurricanes on the Gulf Coast of the United States, one thing always happens. Our Brotherhood of Churches and Hope Worldwide show up together to help. A recent and powerful example of our special partnership was the day of service that happened earlier this summer when 1,500 college students attended the campus ministry conference in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They converged on the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans and helped to reclaim more than 100 former housing lots that were uninhabitable due to the tragic flooding of Hurricane Katrina. Our partnership with the churches in disaster relief has been recognized by the American Red Cross and other disaster relief agencies all around the world. I hope that you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Hope Worldwide's work for the poor all around the world. You know, Jesus told us that we would have the poor with us always. Yet we at Hope Worldwide considered a real privilege to serve in this special and unique ministry in serving the poor. You know, there's one last thing. I can't let this opportunity pass without letting you know how you can help. First of all, Hope Worldwide has been built upon the great service and the great hearts of volunteers just like you. I hope that you'll continue to find new and innovative ways to become a servant volunteer in your churches and in your communities. Secondly, I hope that when you think about Hope Worldwide, you will see a faith-based charity that is worthy of your financial support. You know, as we fondly say around Hope Worldwide, without the church, there is no hope. Let's work together to bring hope and change lives in a hurting world. May God bless you.